I think anyone who sends their kids to daycare, anyone who sends their kids mm -hmm. with a nanny to preschool, anywhere, you put so much trust in the caregiver. And I think that's why this is so alarming to so many people. An Ohio daycare worker charged with giving drug-laced pancakes to young kids to make them drowsy. Shocking charges against a daycare worker in Westerville, Ohio. Tammy Epley is accused of drugging six children ages two to five, including her own two-year-old child, at the daycare center she ran out of her home. This is mortifying. I'm a very, very private person, and I'm very, very protective of my children and the children in my care. According to the police report, Epley allegedly crushed medications and supplements, including Benadryl and melatonin, a sleep aid, into pancake batter to make the children sleepy. She say something to the effect of, yeah, I just gave them their, their uh, nappy time medicine. It was a former friend who reported her to Child Protective Services after she received a series of text messages from Epley joking about sedating the kids. CPS says they did not find enough evidence to support the allegation, but after conducting their own investigation, police later charged her with six counts of child endangerment. Epley denies all charges, claiming she was just venting in the text messages. But it was just any frustrated parent would that would say when they were frustrated, the kids are driving me crazy today, they're off the wall. I wish there was a drug that, like in Sleeping Beauty, they would all just go to sleep. Though she does admit giving medication to the children in the past, she says she only gave antihistamine, allergy medication, with parental permission. Any time that I administered, I actually did administer medication to the children. I did have permission from the parents. I have text messages proving that, and I also have medical consent forms that they did sign upon enrolling their children into the daycare. None of the kids in the daycare suffered any illness or injury related to the alleged drugging incident. Again, you know, she does deny the charges. She will fight them in court. A court date is set for July 12th. In this interview, she did say that the daycare is closed while this investigation and while the legal issues go on.